A Central Valley family is turning heartbreak into hope. Ethan's Hope is a fundraising resource for premature babies born at Community Regional Medical Center's NICU. It's making a big difference in many areas for families when they need it most. Amy and Ryan Ledger know the devastating feeling to leave a hospital empty handed. We got a call about 2 a.m. that things weren't good. Their son Ethan came too early, 27 weeks, one pound, six ounces. After we were in the NICU for a little over a month, he ended up having um, an infection and then ended up passing away. Well, all the work that you can that we had built up to to kind of get him to that point, you know, just kind of stops. And that was probably one of the toughest, toughest parts to swallow. No baby, but the bills came anyway. The toughest thing for us to have to write a check for was, you know, the funeral of your own child. And I remember specifically thinking to myself, you know, if I could pay for every funeral, I would so that that family didn't have to, to do that. Amy and Ryan say they were lucky to have insurance and jobs that helped cover the costs, but they knew not everyone did. The thought process, as, you know, while we were there is just seeing so many people, so many babies, um, and they're nonstop. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a revolving door, um, and they're there for a number of reasons, but they're there. So they came up with a plan. I want to help. I want to do something. And that was the first thing that came to mind. It started with a golf tournament named after their son. It's sold out every year since it started. Ethan's hope took off from there. Expenses for gas, travel, lodging, expenses for a funeral, food, and all that stuff. They've helped provide breast pumps, formula, car seats, even travel expenses. Most recently, the couple donated toward a room at Terry's house for families to stay in with a baby in Community Regional's NICU. And there are no plans to slow down now. We want to help more people. And so in order to help more people, we got to raise more money. Well, if we can make up that gap, you know, between what insurance covers and what um, is not covered for being in the NICU, that would be an important thing to tackle as well. That's a lot of hope inspired by one little boy who entered and left this world too soon. You know, everything we do is kind of like through him or with, you know, with his name behind it. And so we're the facilitators, but he's the reason we're doing it. And that's a, you know, a special thing for us. Amy and Ryan are in the process of planning the next golf tournament, which will be in the fall of this year. They've since welcomed another son to their family. He's one and a half now. Big sister is six. Still ahead, staying safe with asthma. Advice for mastering the technique when using your inhaler and why getting the right dose is crucial to your care.